and welcome to our second week's lesson in electronic products assembly and servicing. Still on performing computer operations and for our day 5, we will have learning outcome number 2, input data into computer. At the end of the learning period, you shall have defined input, output and storage devices, identify different hardware devices, categorize the devices discussed, and answered a short assessment. For your pretest, you are going to classify different hardware devices as to input device, output, or storage device. I am going to give the name, write it under each classification. First, keyboard. Hard drive. Printer, flash drive, projector, microphone, monitor, mouse, Scanner Headphone Speaker Graphics Tablet CD DVD and SD card. Now let's see if all your answers are correct. Okay, if you got 12 points to 15, congratulations, you passed the pretest. But if you got 11 points and below, it's fine. We are going to study more on these devices. Before we proceed with our new lesson, let's have a recap of the computer system components. A statement will be given in each slide. All you have to do is to identify if what is being described is a hardware or software. As an example, MS Word, MS Excel, and Photoshop are some examples of this system component, hardware or software. The answer is software. Are you ready? Let's begin. Physical parts of a computer that cause processing of data. Answer is hardware. Next. It is manufactured. Hardware. It is developed and engineered. Software. Physical electronic devices we can see and touch. Answer is hardware. Set of instruction that tells a computer exactly what to do. It's a software. We can see but can't actually touch. Software. It has four main categories. Input, output, storage devices, and internal components. Okay, hardware. Not affected by computer virus. Hardware. Next. Affected by computer virus. Of course, this one is software. And for the last question, it is mainly divided into system, programming, and application. And the answer is software. That's all for our recap today, and let's now begin with our lesson. 
for our lesson today, you are going to learn different hardware devices being used to convert a data into an information. A data is being entered into the computer by using input devices. The data will be mainly processed by the CPU, which is inside the system unit. You may save the data using storage devices or you may copy some data from a storage device into the computer. After then, to view the processed data, which is known as information, you will have to use output devices. Input devices takes data from outside the computer and send it to the CPU inside the system unit. Let us now study some input devices. To begin with, this is a keyboard. A device that has keys to feed data and instructions to the computer through numbers, letters, and symbols, or even functions. Next, mouse. Interacts with a computer through a process known as point and click used to select, open, and delete files. Graphics tablet, also known as digitizers, used in converting hand-draw artwork into digital images. It is also being used when making digital signatures. Webcam, used to capture photographs and videos and sends it to the computer. Scanner, a device that uses optical technology to transfer images or text into the computer. And we have the microphone, captures audio and sends it to the computer where it is converted into a digital format. Output devices, on the other hand, is any piece of computer hardware equipment which converts information into human readable form. It can be a text, a graphics, audio, or video. Now, let us have some output devices. Monitor. Displays images from tiny dots called pixels engaged in a rectangular form. Printer, an output device used to make hard copies or paper printouts of a document or file. Projector, shows a maximized view of computer images or video onto a wall or screen. Speaker, transforms the signal from the computer sound card into an audio, can be heard around the vicinity. And last one is headphone. Creates audio as well, but intended for a single listener as compared to speaker. Storage devices are used to remember or store data temporarily or permanently. To begin with, this is a flash drive. A non-volatile solid state storage device used to store data. Hard drive, a non-volatile magnetic storage device capable of remembering vast amounts of data. It is being used in a system unit. Compact disk or CD, an optical storage device that stores binary data to the texture of the disk surface. Looks like the same with a DVD or a digital versatile disk. It stores data like a compact disk but has a higher storage capacity. Then we have SD cards, a type of flash storage device used in digital cameras and phones. And for the last one, SSD or solid state drive, a non-volatile storage device capable of holding large amounts of data. It works or performs faster than a hard drive. To test your understanding of our lesson today, let us answer some activities and to start with, an image of the device will be shown. Name the device and classify it as to input, output, or storage device. To start with, 
SD card. Storage device. SSD. Storage device. Speaker. Output device. Headphone. Output device. Scanner. Input device. Microphone. Input device. Flash drive. Storage device. Hard drive. Storage device. CD or DVD. Of course, a storage device. Monitor. Output device. Printer. Output device. Projector. Output device. Keyboard. Input device. Course. Mouse. Input device. Graphics tablet or digitizers. Input device. Okay, now let's proceed with the next part of the activity. All you have to do is to identify if the statements are true or false. One, input devices are used to enter data in the computer. Two, keyboard, mouse, and scanner are examples of input device. Answers are one, true, two, true, three, graphic tablet is used to convert hand draw artwork into digital images. Four, microphone can be considered as input and output device. Answers, three, true, four, false. Five, output devices are used to view the information from the computer. Six, digitizer is an example of an output device. Answers, five, true, six, false. Seven, Printer, projector, and scanner are all output devices. 8. Storage devices is where memories, files, documents are saved. Answers 7. False 8. True 9. SD card is a type of flash storage device. Number 10, SSD has a high storage capacity and performs faster than HDD or hard drive. Answers, 9 true and 10 true. That's all for our practice today. To wrap up our lesson, answer the following questions. What is the use of input devices? What is the use of output devices? What is the use of storage devices? Now I'd like you to give three examples of input devices. One, two, three. Three examples of output devices. One, two, three. And Three examples of storage devices. One, two, three. Good job. Next, how will the lesson today help technicians in the field of work? 
What are the devices from the discussion you already tried using? What are the devices you know aside from what was discussed? Last two questions. What will you do to enhance your knowledge of the different devices? And why is it important to be updated with the latest devices available in the workplace or market? Let's see how well you master the input, output, and storage devices. Let's have a multiple choice exam. Number one, what is the device used to enter text, numbers, and symbols on the computer? A. Graphics tablet B. Keyboard C. Mouse D. Scanner 2. What is the input device they use to control the cursor on the screen? A. Graphics tablet B. Keyboard C. Mouse D. Scanner 3. Which of the following converts a hand-draw artwork into digital images? A. Graphics tablet B. Keyboard C. Mouse D. Scanner 4. What device are used to optical technology to transfer text or images into the computer? A. Microphone B. Mouse C. Scanner D. Webcam 5. Which of the following captures audio and converts it to a digital format? A. Microphone B. Mouse C. Scanner D. Webcam 6. Which of the following is not an output device? A. Monitor B. Headphone C. Speaker D. Webcam 7. What is the output device used in creating audio intended for a single listener only? A. Headphone B. Microphone C. Mouse D. Scanner 8. Which of the following shows images through tiny dots called pixels? A. Microphone B. Monitor C. Protector D. Speaker 9. Which of the following pairs comes in the same physical device but functions differently? A. CD and DVD B. Flash drive and CD C. HDD and SSD D. SD card and flash drive And for the last number, what does DVD stand for? A. Digital Versatile Disc B. Digital Volatile Disc C. Digitized Versatile Disc and Letter D. Digitized Volatile Disc Now let's see if all your answers are correct. Okay, if you got 8 to 10 points, congratulations, you passed the post test. But if you got 7 points and below, just watch the video again and take the test. These are the references we used for our lesson today. Thank you and have a good day.